New tonight, we know the suspect in the Taylor Swift ticket scam turned herself in. This is a story our investigative team has been tracking for weeks, and today Omaha police named Samantha Grave as the main suspect. Aaron's been tracking the case today. Aaron, when did she turn herself over? John Mallory, Samantha Grave did turn herself in just after 6 o'clock this evening, and as a former employee of CenturyLink, Omaha police believe that she sold more than 200 fake Taylor Swift tickets. And as you said, they released her name to us earlier today. But 10 days ago, scam victims were telling us that Graves was the one behind it all. Taylor Swift is a music icon. So when she came to Omaha, thousands and thousands of people paid for tickets including Jen Hoberman, but her ticket turned out to be fake. Super bummed. This Taylor Swift. All I've been seeing on Facebook for the last three days is how amazing the concert was. We got this interview with Hoberman just days after the concert, and during she revealed to WOWT 6 News, Samantha Grave, a former friend of hers, was behind selling the fake tickets. Now that Grave is in police custody, Hoberman is telling us more about her. I always thought Sam was a real happy person, really enjoyed life. Um, I see her out and about at different restaurants and bars and I always gave her hugs and kisses and there was I mean, never would dawn on me that this is what would have happened. Hoberman says she trusted Grave and bought the tickets from her because Grave worked at CenturyLink. Well, she did up until June of this year when Grave was fired. Hoberman firmly feels now the fake tickets should come with severe consequences. Yeah, I think she should serve a little bit of jail time. I mean, what she's done is a felony, and she knowingly, for four months, committed a felony. And the charge against Grave is a felony. Felony theft by deception. Now, Graves' bond hearing is supposed to be tomorrow morning. I spoke to her lawyer today, and he tells me that they plan to fully cooperate with the investigation. Aaron, why are we not seeing her mugshot tonight? Well, I did ask for them to release her mugshot because she is booked in, but they told me that investigators are still using her mugshot in photo lineups to show victims. So right now, they do not want to release it. All right, we'll continue to track that. Thanks, Aaron Murray, reporting live.